Hello everyone, welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Masters Coliseum. Last time uh, we defeated Pegasus uh, pretty easily because we uh, had Cybersaurus who pretty much wrecked him. Today we're facing Odeon who uh, is probably going to be a lot harder. We don't match well with Earth Monsters. And I find Odeon there. I often have trouble with Odeon in my fire play for actually the last turn the first time. And it's just an Earth Monster, they just have so much fucking health. They just take like three or four hits. So you are Odeon. I feel overwhelming strength from him. Whoever stands in my way, it is my duty to bury them. Ha! We'll see about that! <laughs> I sense that you are also a powerful duelist. However, millenniums of strategies have been passed down along my bloodline. Strategies that you have never seen or can comprehend. It's time to duel. Here I come, Odeon. Alright. So Odeon's Earth and Light Monsters. What well, basically comes down to is we want to finish out our light monsters quickly with our thunder monsters and then just overpower his earth monsters with our dark monsters. It really is that simple. Easier said than done, but I mean the plan is at least quite simple. Alright, well, let's kind of look what he has. Time Wizard, Gazelle, Celtic Guardian, Destroyer Golem, Fiend Reflection 2, King Tiger Wang Hu, and Mega Zowler. I don't know why Rex doesn't have Mega Zowler, because it would fit him much better. But then again, it'd be a bit overpowered if he had it at that point, I'm assuming. So yeah, um, I'll use Karibo because he's good. I mean, I, I could get Metal Zoa. Wait, never mind. I didn't even get Zoa. Oh, wait, I did get Zoa. What am I talking about? So we could get Zoa if we wanted to. This was Bell Dragon who I wasn't using. I kind of got confused. Uh, this map doesn't have the... Uh... No, this map doesn't have the uh, 50 Dark, so we can't actually... Evolve Red Eyes Black Dragon yet, but uh, we'll see. Um, I'm just kind of looking who I'm gonna take. Feral Imp, I'll take you. I'm Electric Lizard. You're actually level three, so um, you're actually pretty close to that level. Um, Mega Thunderball is level five. Um, I suppose we can do it this level. Should I bring Red Eyes? It's just like, every, he's really good, right? He'll definitely help me win this level. It's just that all of his levels are kind of for nothing. I suppose we'll bring Summon Skull and then with what we have left, we'll bring... Uh, well, we'll bring what we can, I suppose. And that doesn't look all too great. I, I, we'll bring uh, Neil Ball then. Let's put our symbol over here. So we picked how many light monsters did we pick? Oh wow, we only picked two light monsters. That's not great. I may have been a bit. Um, I may have gone a bit heavy on the dark monsters. So what I'm planning to do is uh, fuse Zoa and um, what's his face, Zoa and uh, Steel Scorpion, probably after we've taken care of some of the light monsters. Like I kind of imagine most of our monsters will probably get a 
pretty big weakness here. I honestly don't mind him just rushing over to me so I can kind of stay in this like safe hole so to speak. So yeah, um, well he, he has uh, only two light monsters so we're probably well off just bring our dark monsters it should be fine actually it's my turn. like looking at it, yeah, 206 attack still isn't terrible yeah he loses a good chunk from the the field though unlike someone like summon skull who does lose points from the light being Part of this map, but yeah, uh, we obviously can't use light monsters really well here. 58 defense really isn't that much. 68, no, we should be able to do decent enough damage with them. Even with our dark monsters. See you know what he's gonna just what move three over here or something like that. Could put you over here already, I think. Let's just be sure about that though. Um well yeah. The gazelle isn't out of his thing yet, so we should be safe still. Alright, we're still safe on this spot. Yeah, him. He can also go over here, which I'm just looking. You can't do anything after that. Um. Yeah, this is genuinely your best position, I'd say. Um, you move back one. Oh wow, you can fuse over here already? We actually lose stats mostly. Um, I'll place you here for now. And just move the rest uh, upwards. So yeah, whatever he tries to do, we'll likely be able to hit them with like two or three guys, so. Oh yeah, we definitely put somebody in uh, Gazelle's range, just realized, man, that was kind of stupid. And it was Zoa. Uh... And you didn't really benefit from it. I totally, after placing like my first unit, I totally didn't think about Gazelle. <laughs> Not smart, but... I uh, will recover from it, I think. Okay, well that's just stupid. This is bad. I mean, I mean it's not great, but it's definitely still recoverable, Yugi. Let's not <laughs> overreact. Well, we can hit 172 on you with him. I mean, that works out. 172 plus 172 is enough to kill it.
Um, looking at where Time Wizard stands... Yeah, if we play a Summon Skull there, he will get hit if you don't play somebody else there as well. At least getting a kill for um, elect for this guy, Electric Wizard, is pretty good. As yeah, getting him to level uh, 6 would get us Tripwire Beast, which is an alright monster, I suppose. But there's one of his live monsters gone. Basically, no one, none of his other guys who are over here can do uh, much yet. Yeah, and th this is genuine perfect placement. Uh, Needle Ball standing there really helps us out, like a crap ton. Because we'll also be able to kill Kazel. You know, in hindsight, this was a really good turn for us. He set up his monster terribly. Like, well, honestly, we're kind of steamrolling him, to be honest. Uh, I don't think you kill, but we can hit him with Feral Imp as well. No, we cannot hit you, so that's... Uh, Let's move you back one. Hit you here and then finish you off with Summon Skull. I'd rather have Summon Skull get the experience because, let's face it, Feral Imp is just gonna get to level 9 regardless. Like, he's already level 7. This dude is like so fucking close. Like before the end of Area Four, we were 100% level nine of that guy. Um, this guy might be able to hit me two, two. No, not even. Wow. He, I don't really even know what he planned to do. I guess he just saw an attack and just went for it and didn't think about anything else afterwards. Oh, uh, he's got the same AI as me as a fucking eight-year-old child, just trudging everyone forward, and that's everything I did as a kid. Probably the reason why I wasn't able to beat the game when I was a child. Although, kind of impressively as a kid, I made it all the way until the final area in the game. It was actually against Ishizu, who I, the second battle versus Ishizu was the one which I could never beat. Defeated? No, not yet. I can still fight. All right, well, let's think. Um if I place you here, then Time Wizard can once again not really do anything except go like over here. Celtic Guardian wouldn't be able to hit me. Uh, Mega Zowler uh, would be able to. Tiger Wang wouldn't. It's not a bad spot to just put him over here. Or I mean, bad idea. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Could also then hit him with Zoa. They'll probably kill him, actually. My monster cannot stand up to that much power. Yep. Well, we do this, and that's a goodbye. We will be able to get a. 
He goes, you're able to get a shot in with this Mecha Zala, but that's also it. And I kind of doubt he'd kill my, uh... What's his face? My seven skull. Um, over pretty much every spot I go to, he'll get hit. So let's back him off up then. Um, I can place you over here to put some kind of pressure on you. Put you over here and we put Karibo over here. And that's everyone. Oh, well, he got one hit in. That's a short ass animation, man. Not even half. That guy just decided no thank you. Um. How much would he do? Um, see, a time wizard, even in that spot, can't do any too much really. It's only, it's only Wang who is able to hit me next turn if he really wants to. We do about three hundred and fifty-nine with you. You do about four twenty. <laughs> nice. I mean, I'm kind of stalling his evolution a bit, but it just makes sense to do this. I'm just kind of hoping that he doesn't kill my um, summoned skull. But you have 247 attack and you have 244, so you really shouldn't. And hell, you might even get defense from this. We can play the needle ball here, that is fine. Um, well. Bet you're you're still safe over here. I mean we could. I mean we could we could we could just do this. Time rest isn't in a way. Count the garden doesn't do anything. You'll survive that, I think. You won't, maybe. I don't know. I may have sacrificed Creeper for that, but... It's also not the end of the world. It was for a good cause. I mean, it's not the end of the world if Creeper dies here. He doesn't. Hooray. Well, I think I forgot to... Uh, Calculate the uh, symbol bonuses and such where it does less damage to my attribute. Victory is in my reach. I don't know what he's trying to do or if he's trying to just lure me into doing this. But 
I mean, I'm not doing it. He's also got less attack. First of all, this just makes sense. Two hundred and ninety. So yeah, now we can just choose who we kill him with. I'm kind of tempted in with killing him with Karibo because Karibo has a really good skill once he reaches, I think, like level 4. So I'm gonna give the kill to uh, Karibo. It also puts, keeps Summon Skull in that better position. It kind of forces him to make the move and make the initiative instead of me. And does pretty much put him in a bad spot, but at this point, it's just so much, it's just so over. Like, he really can't do anything, really. Alright, Karibo is level 3. I guess I'll make the fusion happen then. I was waiting for this moment. Everything I require is gathered on my field. I fuse my two monsters. So yeah, um Zara will probably be a bit weaker now, but with a couple levels he'll be right back to where he was. Kind of thinking about it, I don't really know how worth it it is to make the Metal Zoa fusion even happen. Like, there's so many strong dark boss monsters you get in this game. But I mean, hey, it's at least good that we have him, I suppose. Well, we should just stay like this. I don't really know what he can possibly do to beat me. Like, worst case scenario, you can take like, one of my monsters. Yeah, that's also a possibility. Well, I suppose we'll just do that then, eh? It's just kind of hilarious how we really fucking swamped him, right? Like, he... He really couldn't do anything, like, the whole time. Yeah, no, that free attack range of um, Zoa is just really busted. Bam. Oh, he's got that awesome thumbnail shot. Of just st not staring back at his enemy. Yeah, no, I can move you over here. That limits where you can move. Uh, 
Alright, uh, needle ball, you can stay there. And well, he decides to do nothing. It's a little unfortunate, actually. Ooh. Um. How much does this do? Fifty-eight. Uh, the problem is that he just got 321 attack and I don't really feel like sacrificing anyone. I can't really even stand anywhere where um, where I can retaliate back or where he can't hit me and I can hit him the next turn. How much damage do you do? 130. You guys might be able to finish him off next turn. Problem is, he just one shots um, Electric Lizard 100%. I can move you over here though, and then he can attack. Alright, all he decides to move. Which is um, in our benefit. 177, right? So we'll just hit him with uh, Mr. Metal Zoa. For 130, well, it's enough. So we can get Electro Lizard to kill him. He just got two kills, so that's good. He's got some good experience this map. And slam dunk. This will finish you. so decisively what a dishonorable defeat yeah no you were decisively defeated you did not kill any of my monsters i think you attacked me a grand total of three times that match congratulations yugi thank you i feel honored that i was able to duel an opponent with such skill Orion. I too share the same sentiment. So go right. Yeah, so go right. And Electric Lizard is level 4. It's also the area complete, by the way. Alright, and that's another, like, le a couple levels. One for Kriva, who... Perfect block, that is the move I meant. It is a really good move. And he uh, metal Zerg and metal morph, which is nice, I guess. So yeah, um Although the PP the, the PP lossy catch is actually not that massive. Um still I mean it's not like in, we don't need any of these monsters really. I'll get destroyer golem for the sake of it, and we'll get Celtic Guardian because Celtic Guardian is cool. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Goodbye!